It was about the middle of June that strong American forces began the occupation of Saipan Island in the Marianas. Bypassing Truk in the Carolines, this was a great leap forward across the Pacific. The powerful US task force, which included a number of aircraft carriers, of course, heavily bombarded the island defenses before the landing. cover of the naval guns, the assault. These pictures recall many similar landings we've already witnessed on the screen, while one Pacific island after another has been torn from the Japanese. But the attack on Saipan was an affair that cut right across Japanese strategy in the Pacific. Not only would the occupation of the island provide the Allies with bases a thousand miles nearer Tokyo, it also washed out the great value of truck to the enemy. Three weeks after these pictures of landings and consolidation, Tokyo, 1,200 miles distant, was admitting that the situation was very serious. For by that time, the Americans' progress had been so rapid that Garapan, the capital, had been overrun, and the battle for the island was already entering its final phase. The assault on Saipan also brought out part of the Japanese fleet, which is in a surprise attack, suffered very heavy losses. While this battle for the occupation of the whole of Saipan was going on, another battle was being fought somewhere between Saipan and the Philippines. A battle in which nearly a score of Jap ships were sunk or damaged and literally hundreds of Jap aircraft destroyed. 